Today, we are going to talk about my three months with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro or Blackmagic Cinema Pocket 6K Pro. Well, you got it. <laughs> I'm Biography and welcome to my channel where I do reviews, tip and tricks, tutorials and talk about creative stuff, if you like talking about creative stuff. So my three months with this beast here has been a work course where I was um, trying to learn it inside out, uh, I was trying it out in a lot of shootings, I have been working on some short movies and some documentaries and uh, this has been my companion. So I have learned it, how to use it, how to manage it. But one thing that I will say that every time that I'm shooting, I'm hell scared. The reason why is this. The SD drive. Uh, I spend probably half of the time that I, I, I have owned this um, trying to find the right um, drive for it because it doesn't work with other drive. I order it with the Tilta Cage Advanced Kit package um, and it comes with a T7. So I was like, well, if they send it, uh, with the yeah the, the 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 block the attachment this one they send it with the T7 so I was like well if they send it with the T7 that means that in the 6K Pro they have probably made so that the SD reader so this the USB C here reader it's faster because in the previous models only the T5 was a good choice because it couldn't read more than uh, 540 kilobytes per second uh, so like to transmit through the cord to the SD so every time that you will put like a T7 that has 1050 um, kilobytes per second every time it will like record for like 10 seconds for one minute and then it will block and then you will receive that exclamation point um, on the screen that I don't have to show, but you can um, you can basically just recognize it because it's um, it comes here on in this recording button here. You will see that it will basically just show an exclamation point and it will be in red. So I have spent most of my time trying to figure out and well, um, the T I went back to the T5 and that has been working for me. Kinda. Sometimes while I'm recording, even though the Tilta cage come in with a pretty good lock here because there is a screw that you just attach directly to the cage, the same with the HDMI, and then you have another screw here that you can attach to, to the T5, and then you have the mounting point here that you can attach here um, near the the top handle then you have different points where you can attach it if you want but sometimes it locks like it just stops recording and I receive this commission point even when this and that is because when you do like harsh movement or something like that I think the cord moves and when the cord moves um, it just stops recording and that has been really stressful for me sometimes that I will go maybe on, uh, on an interview or something like that and I'm scared that this will shut down on me like the SD will not record anymore and the reason why I said shut down is because I have had few times in these three months where I will try to turn it off and it will not turn on uh, to turn it on and it will not turn on and one of them, I was at a wedding. Luckily, I had my Canon R6 with me, so that saved me, but I was at a wedding where it shut down because the battery died. And when I went back to switch it on after I, I plugged the battery in 
because I was using um, a V mount. So when I plugged the V mount in, it wasn't turned on anymore. So I got worried. I was like, what the hell is going on? Until the next day, it turned on again. So for how beautiful this is, unfortunately, because of what it delivers and because of the price, you can't really um, complain. But hell, I'm complaining. Like, I'm out of shooting and you shut down on me, that's not good. And I cannot even turn it on. Imagine if you go this one, you bring this one as an only camera that's shooting and then it doesn't turn on anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't know. If you have experienced the same thing, leave me down a comment to tell me like how it make you feel and how you deal with it because I'm constantly scared, so I always have my R6 with me as a backup, always, because I uh, imagine you are in a client and this happened. But yeah, guys, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the problems that I had in these three months, but overall, this is a fantastic camera for the price, the raw, the quality, the beauty of the image. Um, I can't say really much about it, but I will do a review, a full review on it. I will do a review even on the Tilta cage. That is just amazing cage. And if you have any question about, about the black magic, just leave me a comment down below or just write me an email or in my Instagram or however you want to contact me, just ask me and I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. And, uh, Thank you for sticking here with me, guys. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you're interested in. I'm trying to not focus only on the R6 anymore. I want to just go overall around my gear, talk about different things and talk about creative things. You know, I don't want to only talk about gear or cameras. I know that most of my subscribers are here for the R6, but you know, there are different kind of cameras out there. There are super interesting things beside the R6. Subscribe if you are new, click the like button if you like it, click the down, down, down button. If you didn't like it, dislike button, I, I guess it's called, if you didn't like it. And yeah, so stay safe, stay blessed, and see you in the next one.